Hey, all you Atlas Earthlings, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying, hey, thanks for dropping by. I do appreciate your time. If you like this kind of content, if you get value out of it, please like and subscribe because I appreciate it. If you're new here, if you just search around YouTube for a play to earn app that might strike your fancy, I would strongly suggest trying Atlas Earth. I've been playing it for about six and a half months now. Well, just over six, six months and one week. And I've made close to 120 US dollars. It starts out very slow, but it gains steam as you get more land um, and other strategies involved, such as getting badges and such. Uh, if by the end of the video, uh, and if you watch a few of my other videos on the topic, I'll have one linked in the show notes as well as at the very end of this video that if you want to check it out, it'll tell you about how to get into Atlas Earth and how to make money off of it. Um, if you decide you want to play, go ahead and use my uh, referral code that can be found in the show notes and then by the time you get to your 11th parcel you will get 200 free atlas bucks which is enough to buy two parcels or one badge and along the way i'll also get a hundred out of it so it's a win-win situation appreciate it okay with that said wow what a week it has been if you've been following along the last video i did was a few days ago okay um Leading up to November 1st, uh, the, few, the week before that, the team, uh, the Atlas Reality team, released uh, a couple charts. And these charts were going over the new challenge system. And I did a video on it. Um, and there was a lot of fallout and a lot of uh, feelings on the boards. Uh, I think what it really came down to, and we'll take a look at it a little bit closer and explain what's going on. But what it really came down to was they released the charts and people going into it felt that they were going to have access to all of the challenges at the same time so that they could pick and choose, but that's not the choice. Uh, the challenges are gated and uh, they come in a certain order. And uh, when you first log in and start the challenges, uh, you get the first 10. And the way it works is uh, you complete one of the quests, then the next one comes on the list. That's, that's as simple as it is, right? So um, on the day before, I think it was kind of fortuitous. Uh, that week was kind of busy for me. Um, I, I had meant to go in and subscribe to the new challenge system. But I didn't get around to it until the 31st, uh, the night before the 1st of November. And I was like, oh, it's perfect. I still got time. It's not November yet. Uh, I can sit down. I can make a video and we can talk about it and I can subscribe right on the video. Well, uh, if you watched that last video of mine, you saw that um, Mod Manning had come out uh, earlier that evening and had said, well, you know, if you don't have your subscription in, um, yet, uh, then it had been cut off uh, very early on the last day of the month. So I don't know if that's going to be the same thing every month from here on out, but um, basically my subscription went through, but the subscription would be for the following month, month, which is for December. And the way these subscriptions work, just, just to put it out there, is if you go the $9.99 route, which is subscribe with a credit card for an ongoing subscription, then whenever you subscribe, your subscription starts the next month, okay? Now, if you're in the mid, if you're already into the month, like November, and you wanted to go ahead and subscribe for November, you would have to opt for the $14.99 route. Okay, now with that said, we're going to take a quick look at the two charts they released uh, the week. It was a few days before the uh, beginning of November. And basically these charts, I went over it in the last video, so I'm not going to hit these in depth. These charts show you at what increments and how many points you have to score to climb the ladder of prizes uh, for the challenges. And you have two ladders. You have the free ladder and you have the subscription ladder. Obviously, if you subscribe, you get a lot more. Plus, uh, you can claim both of those ladder if you, ladders if you're subscribed. So uh, in that first rank, if you are subscribed, you get both the 20 and the five for the free. So that's how it works, uh, just similar to how the uh, Explorers Club works as well. Now at the bottom, uh, they go through the different levels of, and this is not complete, uh, but uh, they go through the different levels of all the different challenges, how many you need to complete that level and how many points you would get. So, with that said, if we switch over to the other graphic, 
And this is the one that's a little bit easier to read that they put out. And this just goes down and it tells you all the individual types of challenges. Um, and at each level that you progress, uh, how many uh, times you have to do that. For instance, in level one of purchase parcels, you can complete level one by just buying one parcel. Whenever level two purchase parcels comes around, uh, you can complete that by purchasing five parcels and so on and so forth. And you can look to the right uh, for the amounts of points that you will be granted. Now, where I think the main confusion, like I said at the top of the video, uh, came was I think most people started um, planning out how they were going to work through um, the challenges um, and with a subscription in mind. Uh, so obviously you would want to plan your route so that you could make best use of your subscription. Well, how it ended up happening was, we'll jump over here to my phone. What ended up happening was that whenever you logged in for the first time, you were presented with a set of 10 challenges, okay? And then you, you could go through there and you could pick any of those challenges and you could start completing them. And then once one of those challenges leaves, then it's filled in with the next challenge that's on the list. Now, there are a few rules and we'll talk about it when we take the list that's been uh, being put together. This is not an official list from uh, Atlas Earth. They are not going to release a list. In fact, this list that's being compiled is only good for November and it is really uh, being put together by members of Discord. And I'll give proper credit when we look at that. But you can see where I'm at here. Um, we'll go over to the completed list. You can see that I've completed six of these so far and what's happened is the ones when when one completes like the first one we did bowling yesterday i won i played some bowling matches and i won some bowling matches those were moved over to completed i was i received my proper amount of points and you can see here that i'm claiming on the free side and then those points build up and then i can just push the button and claim the free atlas bucks but going back here to the list, you can see that it was filled in here at the bottom. And um, my most recent challenges that came on my challenge list are the play golf and win golf matches, which is I'm, I'm looking forward to. Um, and that's odd because I'm usually not a person that plays these mini games because I can see uh, I'm not very good at them. Um, but obviously, that's one of the reasons <laughs> why they put these challenges in to get people, uh, more people into all of the different aspects of playing the game. That's basically it. So they benefit from it. You benefit from it, from getting um, free Atlas bucks out of it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the chart. Okay, so first of all, I wanna give proper credit out. This, uh, this list is on a page that I will include a link in the show notes. Um, that is being uh, that was created and is being upkept by user Cashul over on Discord. You can find them, um, and they've been working with several different other members uh, to keep this up to date. This is only up to date as far as today. Obviously, as the month goes along, people will find uh, more and more um, as far as what the the next um, continuing list of challenges are. But you can see that um, there is a pattern. For instance, you can see that uh, one through 10, I think that everybody starts with those, okay? And then from there, it just depends upon what you complete. So for instance, um, I completed two from bowling yesterday, you know, the play and the win. And then as soon as I completed them, completed the play bowling match, then the convert VR to AB came onto my list. So I completed that and then so on and so forth. Now, there are, um, I do want to say that you will not be able to have two of the same challenge from different levels on your list at any one time. So for instance, um, one of the things that I was going to do in November is do a tear jump. Well, this kind of, um, I guess it, it doesn't, it, it makes me rethink how I want to do it because um, I'm going to have to do it slightly different than just doing a normal tier jump, buying all my tiers at one time. For instance, uh, I still have the purchase parcel one, level one, uh, up to do. So I'm going to have to buy that. And then I'm going to have to work through another one or two um, challenges before I get the uh, purchase. Uh, let's see, where is it at? Um, 
purchase parcel level two, which is 18, uh, line 18, which would entail buying five badges. Okay, so I think I'm going to be able to get those two and the points associated with those when I do my um, my next purchase during the month uh, as far as parcels go. I'm probably not going to be able to also burn through all of the other challenges to get to uh, purchase parcel level three, um, but that remains to be seen. But I just wanted to present this uh, and show you how it works. So I know there are a lot of people that went un or was unhappy with how this turned out. And to tell you the truth, I was slightly unhappy when it first came out too, um, because I was one of those people that I was trying to plan my way through um, you know, the challenges. And then when it was released that everything was gated, Hey, it is what it is, right? It's a challenge system. It's challenging, right? You know, so uh, I'm sure that things will change as time goes along. Mod Manning has said that they're taking all uh, everything in all the details and what happens during the month into account. So when uh, they go into December, um, they'll be able to make changes, things uh, make things better, change things around. Because keep in mind that things are going to change. They said right up front that just because this is the set of challenges in November, the challenges in December are going to be different. Obviously, we'll probably have the same things because the game is built, uh, you know, like buy parcels, play the games. The thing is, that's what's in the game, right? But the numbers will probably change. So count on that. Now, as far as personal, I think I'm going to play free to play, obviously, for November since I'm not subscribed. Um, and take a look at the end of November and see where I stand. Um, frankly, it's free Atlas Bucks, so I don't think anybody has any room for complaint, right? Um, now, you know, you know, there's an argument to be said for s people subscribing and thinking they were going to get one thing and got another. I I'm not even going to get into that. But uh, at the end of November, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the numbers of what I earned free to play and compare them and kind of do a comparison well, what would happen if I would have subscribed and try to take my mind up, uh, make my mind up uh, for December? Um, that's the only logical way I can think of. So anyway, I hope this has been useful. Uh, let me know in the show comments uh, whether uh, you subscribed, uh, if you're subscribed, if you're not, if you're free to play, what you think of the challenge system and how far you've got. Anyway, I hope uh, everyone on your side is happy and healthy. And hey, this is Bronze Dragon, and I will see you in Atlas Earth. Thank you.